Hey everybody, it's Chris from Titchin and Hearst, and it's time for a little bit of happy. And I'm gonna try really, 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 really hard today to talk a little bit louder. My boss just informed me, Christina, that I'm, I'm talking too soft. So I'm gonna to try to project better today so everybody can hear what I'm saying. So today we're gonna to play with pennies, but we're not doing fresh pennies, we're doing faux pennies, meaning silk pennies or botanically correct pennies or faux botanicals, whatever you want to call it. As long as you buy it, I don't care what you call it. So, but look how pretty these are. I mean, they are really pretty. These come from Allstate. I'm gonna actually show you the different lines that we have that people always ask where they come from. This is one from one line of pennies from Allstate. This actually comes from Artie, who's no longer around. I'm sad, because I always help them. And then we have some really pretty hydrangeas. Look how beautiful that is. And look how botanically correct it is. And it's so, such a good color mix. It looks like an antique lavender hydrangea. So these come from Allstate as well. And then we have these pennies from Allstate, I believe. Oops, this one. That beautiful blown center was like some out of a peony bush. So let me tell you about peonies. If, you, if they come out of your yard and you're from the country, we always call them peonies. But if you pay money for them, they're definitely called peonies. So there's that. These are called soft touch, and these come from Windward. And if you were to feel, I wish you could feel these, it feels like a natural petal. So that's part of the soft touch line from Windward. They're gorgeous. We're gonna put those on top. A little bit more expensive, but they're really pretty. And then we have some little bit of viburnum, a white viburnum. This comes from Direct Export. And then I think this foliage comes from Allstate too. But I'm already, I'd already taken the tag off before I thought about sharing that because people are always asking where these silks come from. How much? What, what are they? So anyway, so let me get that. So we're going to go ahead and prep our container. So what we're gonna do first, there's never a need to fill the whole thing up. You can do scraps on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take this piece, I'm gonna stack it on top, just like that. And I'm gonna take a, a solid block, and this is Sahara foam, and we're gonna wedge that in there. I really hardly ever, ever, ever glue foam into a container. A, a lot of times they're gonna take it apart. So I'm trying not to do that so it can be removable. Once I start inserting the stems into it, it's gonna wedge these smaller pieces into it and make it stay in place for you. So now we're gonna take a little bit of moss. Probably could have wedged a few more pieces in there, but if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, what a lovely world it would be. So, now we're gonna start with our hydrangea. Take these, I'm gonna work with these first. I think these are the prettiest ones. You said hydrangea. Oh, Fanny, sorry. Look, my bad. The cutter's open. Miss Alice is on today and Miss Peggy, of course. Awesome. Angie from Alabama said hello. Hello. Everybody doing okay today? Everyone's doing good. Perfect. So we're gonna do this project really quick and then we're gonna do something fun that we're gonna try to do. Today, by the way, happy May Day. Today's the first day of May, so it's May Day. So what we thought we would do, I was talking to Carrie in the back this morning about what do you think we should do today? Because we always have this discussion with everybody around. And so I'm like, so she goes, well, growing up, we always did at May Day, we would actually make small bouquets and take them around to different like shut-ins and things like that and put it on their door. So I thought, well, that'll be fun. So when we finish this little project, we're gonna go back and we're actually gonna make some cones that you could attach to someone's door or you could use it on the end of a pew for a pew marker for like for a wedding or hang from a chandelier if you want to have floral for that. There's that. So now we're gonna go back and add our hydrangea. That's now thinking, I hope these are up. Oh, they work. I don't have my choppers up here like I normally have. Work pretty good. Someone asked one time, last time we did silk too, why aren't you gluing the stems in? Well, if I were doing this for a customer, I probably would get a little dab of glue on the end of these, like hand glue as we put them in so they don't fall apart. 
But also, I actually insert the stems really long, like at least that deep into the foam. So if they fall out, we got a bigger problem than, than that. So, but yes, we would attach a little bit of glue. Miss Betty said no dancing around the maypole. Okay, we might do that. They still young. this one without cutting off. Let me show you a trick that Mark Bass has always taught me. See this leaf right here? There's no need for that leaf. You're just going to pull that one right off and you're actually going to pull that one off. So that way the, the stem shows up a lot, the, the, the bloom shows up a lot better. Your sister's on today. She says she's still in Florida. Oh my goodness. making burritos last night while it's all her post. Uh, she was making my other sister who's no longer with us. She was the best Mexican. She lived in Las Cruces and she made, she had the best recipes. I can remember as a child, we would go across the border and get peppers. That was always the trip when we went to Las Cruces. We would go across the border and go get red dried chili peppers. And then we would come back and she would actually boil them and fry and cook and bake them first and then make her own enchilada dip and enchilada sauce. I mean, it was always a treat. I think Molly Carroll still does that too, don't you, Mama? So now we're going to add these pennies back on top. Uh, these are not one to cut. There we go. Steven said hi from Ireland. Oh, goodness. So what time is it in Ireland right now? Not or sure. Stephen, can you let us know what time it is there? Danny asked, no still, no still picks today? No still picks today. No still picks. So now we're going to go back there. One more of these. I'm going to flip this around to show you where we are so far. Seeing that I'm working backwards as well. I'm sure I have a little rope back. So now we'll go back and add our greenery. Now that's going to give us a little bit more depth. I mean, this is ultra traditional. It's just a beautiful garden style. Stephen said it's 8.35 in Ireland. In the morning or afternoon? PM, PM at night. Wow, okay. Joanne said, as a child, they made May Day baskets with flowers and candy and ran to all the neighbor's doors. That's what it is. That's what Carrie did, too. So I guess we missed out, missed out on that in Woodruff County. I don't know. So you learn something new every day. Have one more of these. What's the name of this arrangement? It's just a traditional garden. I mean, Southern garden where it's a little mixture of all the different greens and then the peonies. Nothing in particular. I'm actually gonna move this one over. Nothing about not gluing. If I don't have it just right, then I can make some quick adjustments. So now we'll go back and add our Dusty Miller, which is really popular right now on everything. Someone said that it looks like silk. Do you want to? It is silk. Gotcha. So. Someone asked what you're using now. This is Dusty Miller. And this looks, this is as close as a real Dusty Miller as you can get. Matter of fact, sometimes I think we should maybe use faux Dusty Miller in some of our wedding bouquets because no one can tell the difference. And this definitely doesn't wilt, so. And last but not least, just to add a little bit more whisk to everything. 
You know what? I'm gonna pull these out of the sides because they're not really showing up. And we're gonna bring these more to the middle. You can definitely tell none of this is pre-planned. We're just going with the flow. As Pat said that she'll have to tell her mom about us and come and visit when we open back up. Oh, great. We'd love to see you. We would. So now we're going to add this for a little bit of length. And the whole situation is you want to take this and make sure that you get dimension by shaping all these little runners. There. Miss Kim said that she's coming to P. Allen Smith in the fall, and she's going to put us on her list to come and visit. Oh, awesome. We'd love to have it. Well, you'll really enjoy going to Moss Mountain. It's so pretty. You know, we're very blessed in Arkansas to have a lot of wonderful places to visit and things to see. Always hope that you add tip the hurts of that list though. So I'm almost done with this, and then we can get to playing with our door markers or whatever you want to call it. A little bit more traditional. Uh, not a little, a whole lot of traditional. Someone asked if all the flowers are silk or just the Dusty Miller. All the flowers are silk. Like that. There you go. Simple and easy. So the main reason, the whole purpose of this today is I kind of wanted to show you some fun things you could do for Mom's Day to play off of this. And that would be these really fun things from Hester and Cook. So this year, we found at Market, these are some fun placemats that would go, show you what it looks like, there. They also make these uh, dually serving pieces, which would break like cakes and cupcake stands and things like that. And then we have a whole variety of napkins, cocktail napkins, and oh, these are fun. These are place cards. Let me show you what it looks like in the back, what you do with it. And the coolest now, we have also crackers. A cracker is something from the UK that they do when they entertain. They put these on their plates, and this has the gifts in it. So it, whenever it's a sound room, it gets the popped or cracker, and then they get a little takeaway with it. So the funnest one from these, and these are all from Caspari. Well, Hester and Cook did these, the napkins and stuff come from, from Caspari. And it's actually, this is the napkin. It's a die cut napkin. You know, you actually could use these as a runner down a table, or you could use it as a placemat. Put this down on a placemat. So let me clean these off. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'll slide this down, how's that? Steven asked when our Mother's Day is, they've already had theirs. Our Mother's Day is always the second Sunday of May. And the reason why I know that is because my sister Gail's birthday is May 10th. And she actually was born on Mother's Day. So what we're gonna do first, and this is what we're gonna attempt to make is this little cone. So what we've done is we've taken a water bottle and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this part down to make the base in the cone. So what we'll do first, we're going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut this with that. Do you kind of feel like you're in elementary school today? Huh? Do you kind of feel like you're in elementary school I today? Do. I feel like I'm in vacation Bible school. Oh, good. Even better. So then we're going to take that and what we'll do first is we're going to curve this. Oops, I need to cut the green off. Make our cone. 
So I'm going to take that. So actually right now, I'm actually going to go back now and take, make a cut here and here. You got to leave the lid on this to not get water everywhere. So let's curve this back up again. We're going to see where that face is going to hit down in the bottom. So we'll get right about there. So let me mark that with my finger. I'm sure there's a lot easier ways to do this. Of course, you know me, I'm going to, I can make it hard, we're going to make it hard. So. so there's that. It's made a little hole in it. So what I want to do now is we're going to take this on the hole again. I'm going to pull that ribbon. Oops, let me know piece of ribbon. In here. Oh, I forgot something. Well, I'm thinking about it. Look what they make now. So actually, if you want to, you could take this. This is from Windward Silks. And just do a little spray on that. And it makes your whole arrangement smell like peonies. They have a peony spray. I thought that was kind of fun, especially if you're gift giving those. And it won't stain the flowers either. Ooh. Someone, oh, that does Ooh. smell good. That's strong. Whoa, Woo. whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> we got smell like a real peony over here now. Someone ask if you have a, if we have a, Projected date to reopen. Uh, right now, we won't will not be open before Mother's Day. We will be open outside. We talked about that yesterday. Oh, but we won't have the storefront open until after Mother's Day at least. I, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of want to wait and see what happens everywhere else. How we're not talked about this. We want to see how it shakes out, especially like in places like Georgia, who are we're already open for a while. I just, I just do not want to do anything that's going to jeopardize our employees as well as our customers. So we're going to, we're going to hold the line here for a little while and see what happens. Um, I can replace part goods, can't replace somebody's health. So anyway, so we're going to turn that there. Now, we have to do what's best for, for our customers, for us. First. So now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to take that across the back. Now what you could do with it, I thought this might be kind of fun, here's where it gets a really vacation Bible school. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this peony napkin like that. So now I'm going to take a little bit of TAC 2000. From Design Master. And this is like an adhesive glue. See all the strings going everywhere? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, lay that right on the center, and wrap that around. You could do more of those if you wanted to, but for time we're just going to do one. Like that. So now I'm going to go back take just a little block of foam and the reason why I'm using foam in here is because I want those flowers to stay in place and plus with water I'm worried about the water falling out. We put a little bit of water in there but I wouldn't fill it totally with water. So now we'll go back with just a few flowers You have some people agreeing. Someone said both of her daughters live in Georgia. One's an attorney and they're staying put. Someone else said that they wouldn't get into a hurry opening. They'd rather be safe and that's smart. Yeah. And someone said, good for you for being safe. Yeah, it's, it's just, we can't, I just, I worry about it every day anyway. And so I just, mm -mm. you know, it's always my, my whole mantra in life is, Slow and steady wins the race. And we're going to see how, how that works well or not. So now we're going to actually take a few fresh roses. These are pink O'Hara's. They are beautiful. Let's take a close look at that. Actually. Leslie said that she applauds you for wanting to protect your customers and staff. Very nervous here in Florida, she said. It, it's scary. Look how pretty that is. Ugh, so pretty. 
So now we're going to go back and add. Oh, I'm going to take that down a little bit. Just a few daisies because we got such good response every day by people that love daisies. Reminds them of spring. This is nothing earth shattered by any means. I just thought it was just like a little happy to put around. I'll add just a few of the little berries out for the edge. by someone's door, tied to their doorknob, and leave them just a little bit of happy for the day. Oop, try to swing out. So, I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, thanks for all the good comments, and, and we love hearing from you, and we love knowing what's going on where you are, because to me, this is just like sitting at the dining room table and catching up with someone's day, how someone's day's gone to me. So, I'm just happy that you let us be a part of it. So, anyway, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Actually, what we decided to do, I was gonna do something different today, but you know me, like shiny butterfly going on. Anyway, so I thought we would start doing Saturdays, we'll start doing wedding day, because that's when so many of our weddings were, and we miss them, so tomorrow, I'm gonna to let you know the hint, we're gonna make a big centerpiece with white and gray orchids, so it's gonna be kind of fun. So we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed evening and a blessed day. Thanks so much for sharing your time with us, and we'll see you tomorrow, thanks.